Black Adam is on its way, meaning it's the best time to discuss other DCU characters that'll be a part of this new film, and one of such characters is Adam Smasher. The fictional superhero made his first live-action debut through The Flash. However, now we'll get to see his cinematic debut as well. In this video, we'll tell you everything, from the history of this character to who will portray it in the upcoming movie. Let's get started. First off, this is who Adam Smasher is. Adam Smasher is one of the metahumans in the DC universe who has the ability to control the atoms of his own body and use them for his own good. With this superhuman power, he can increase his strength, change his size, and can even increase his speed. Over the years, this character has had several versions. For example, the first one starts with Al Pratt, who'd be the father of Albert Rothstein, the guy we know as Adam Smasher. In that version, it was said that being the son of Adam, Adam Smasher inherited the powers from his father. But that's not the only version there is. In fact, according to another version, Rothstein is associated with the Justice Society as one of its founding members. However, he's close friends with Black Adam and Dr. Fate. At one point, we even got to see Black Adam calling Adam Smasher the brother he never had. And in the final version, he's shown his damage. However, this was only in the modern version of Justice Society. So in short, this superhero has had different personalities over time, but his powers remained the same. Next up, he's the grandson of Cyclotron. If we go into the details of his origin, it's important to mention that the story of his powers goes beyond his father. Al Pratt, because in reality, his grandfather was the one who had these powers in the first place. You'll be surprised to know that Smasher is actually the grandson of Cyclotron, the infamous villain. However, unlike his grandpa, he decided to use his powers to fight against criminals. Another thing you might not know is that he named himself Nuclon initially. However, he later changed it to Adam Smasher. Not just that, he'd fight for justice, and authorities allowed him to do so without questioning his actions. All of this was to honor the name and memory of his father, Al Pratt. So even though his powers come from his grandfather, his motive in life is to honor his father. He'd even fought alongside the Justice League and founded Infinity Incorporated with other heroes. But some incidents and events deviated him from the right path. Don't worry, he isn't a villain. And now you must want to know how he became friends with Black Adam. For this, we'll have to explore the original Justice Society. There, it's mentioned that he was one of the founding members of the society. But after Cobra killed his mother by causing a plane crash, the metahuman became resentful, and being resentful means he wanted to take revenge. Even though, with Metron's help, he was able to revive his mother, he had to replace his mother with Extent, the supervillain. So logically, he killed someone and became a murderer. We wonder how it makes him a murderer, because he probably already knew how dangerous Extent would be to the world. But okay, we get it. A guilt trip is what makes us all go the wrong way. Anyways, after all of these events, Adam Smasher was lucky enough to bump into Black Adam, the main rival of Captain Marvel, and that's how they eventually became friends. This friendship also helped him to rehabilitate himself and join the new group. Here, he and Black Adam had enough time to talk about Justice Society, which only generated more and more feelings of resentment. Also, just so you know, Black Adam was the one to kill Cobra, the very villain who caused all the ruckus. Not just that, Black Adam revived him. The Spectre killed Adam Smasher after he and his squad took over the city of Kandak, but not being able to accept the fact that his greatest friend had died Black Adam used his mystical powers and revived Adam. But that's not all he did for Adam. After reviving him, he took him back to the Justice Society, where he was tried for his actions and pleaded guilty. He was also a part of the Suicide Squad that Amanda Waller formed, whose objective was to discredit the Marvel family. However, it'd be wrong to call him a villain, or even an anti-hero, because he was always in it for the good stuff. Now, here's how this character will appear in the movie. So we know who Adam Smasher is, but what about the movie? Will he appear as it is in Black Adam? with the same origin story and similar incidents causing him to be like he is now? Well, we have our doubts about it. DC Studios love playing with characters, and it's normal to find more than one origin story about a superhero or a supervillain. Talking about Atom Smasher, the studio hasn't shared any special details, but from his appearance in the teaser, we can be sure that him being in the film will surely be worth it. With his long, complicated history and superpowers, we're certain he'll be able to catch the audience's attention. And while we're on the topic, we wouldn't suggest you expect this new Atom Smasher to be anything like the ones you know from the comics or the Flash. Because as we mentioned earlier, even though his powers have stayed the same, his personality has had its fair share of different versions. Now let's see who's playing Atom Smasher in Black Adam. Well now we're talking about the thing that matters the most. Do you remember the ideal boyfriend from To All the Boys I've Loved Before and Sierra Burgess is a Loser? Yes, we're talking about Noah Centennial, the Heart Stealer. DC Studios recently revealed that the Netflix sweetheart would 
be appearing as Adam Smasher in the upcoming movie Black Adam. Not just that, fans even got to see Noah's first look, and it won't be wrong to say that everyone's excited. While this new DCU creation might become a Dwayne Johnson blockbuster, it could also help jumpstart Centennial's career, and we're so in for it. Talking about Centennial, in the first look picture, his Albert Rothstein, Smasher's alter ego, looks well prepared for some great action. We wonder if he's preparing to go all into a battle against Black Adam or alongside Black Adam. It looks like all we can do right now is wait or watch the teaser on repeat. Also, Noah looks massive now. Forget the shirtless Noah you watched in any of the other shows. Really, because the current body he has is much more attractive and massive, we'd say. And we got to see him working out without a dang shirt. And no, our eyes are not fine because we're in love again. Noah has only one post on his official Instagram account, but he's been sharing his progress while preparing for the role of Adam Smasher for months now. If you haven't seen it yet, you may want to log on to Kirk Meyer's fitness page on Instagram because that's where all the fun lies. Apart from that, Noah has worked hard for this role, and we understand why. This is the career opportunity that many actors never get, and given his talent, we believe that he deserved this breakthrough. But being a good actor isn't easy. To be fully into a character, actors sometimes even need to change their physical appearance, and that's exactly what Centennial has been doing. By appearing in this big-budget film, he'll be the talk of the town if the film is a success. It looks like he has to do all this in order to at least match The Rock's physique. Apparently, the actor revealed that he wants to match Johnson's as much as possible before the filming begins. Honestly, we think that the actor is doing great because due to the film's pushback and him being a part of several other projects at the same time, he had to lose and gain the muscles back and forth. We bet that wasn't easy. We know that the 26-year-old actor is up for all of it, but we wonder whether he'll keep this bulked up body after the filming is done or let it go. We wish he keeps it. He looks amazing after all. Lastly, here's when you'll get to watch Noah as Adam Smasher. After all this, you must be desperate to know when you'll get to see Adam Smasher. Well, as per the reports, Black Adam is set to be released on the 21st of October 2022. If COVID hadn't affected the production, it would have been released on the 22nd of December 2021. Even after that, the release date was pushed to the 29th of July 2022. But once again, something happened and it finally settled on the current release. Let's hope it doesn't get delayed again. For now, this is everything we know about Adam Smasher and how he'll appear in Black Adam. Do let us know what you think in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And if you want to stay updated, feel free to hit that bell icon. Keep watching because we'll be back with more amazing videos soon.